I've looked now at Ocean City, New Jersey, where it's a far cry from summer rush on this foggy morning. It is foggy, but you see the lights out there, the crews out there, crews are already at work, making sure things are ready ahead of the busy season. We're anticipating a beach replenishment project. That's what's happening. And our Jasmine Payute is live there in Ocean City, explaining all of this for us. Jasmine, good morning. Good morning, Janelle. Jim, it's not a bad morning to be at the beach, but you may not want to be on this part. If you take a look over here, crews have been hard at work finishing this beach renourishment project. We're told when it's done, beachgoers will definitely notice the difference. It's one of the most popular destinations in the Garden State. Known for its eight miles of wide sandy beaches and iconic attractions, Ocean City was even crowned 2022's best East Coast beach. The beach is everything. That's why people come, and really, you know, through recessions, through through all the years, there's nothing going to get in the way of your beach vacation. But if you were to take a winter stroll through the sand now, you would see miles and miles of pipe, and a lot of this. Here, rebuilding our beaches. This is the tenth time they've done it since the early 1990s, and it's really essential. It's progress you can hear as the sound of 30 to 40,000 cubes of sand moving 15 feet per second rushes from the ocean floor to the shore. The beach is going to get replenished and built up to elevation, to the design elevation. For protection to the properties behind us. The Federal Army Corps of Engineers is leading this renourishment project. It's meant to protect coastal property by adding sand dunes to eroding beaches. Pictures following previous storms show the devastation not doing this can have. In a storm, in Sandy, for instance, where at both ends of the island the dunes weren't as strong, and it took a couple hours in a, in a big storm for the waves to hit the street. This project is slated to be done in February, but until then you can see the big difference it has already made. This is how the beach looked prior to the renourishment. And if you come this way, this is how the beach will look after. I think without the beach replenishment, uh, we would be swimming. Rick Trainer and his family live about a block away from the shore. He says this project makes a whale of a difference. When they're finished here, if it's like the last time they did it, we'll have 100 yards of beach out there. The jetty will be covered with sand. But for some, it's not as simple as just rebuilding the beach. You know, it's a little unnerving. You worry about climate change and, um, you know, <laughs> how much longer we can be here and how smart it is to have a house here. But um, yeah, it's great. Back here live, there's still a lot of work to be done here. And once they're done with this, they're not done yet. We're told the Army Corps of Engineers will be heading to Avalon and Stone Harbor beaches next. We're live in Ocean City. Jasmine Payute, CBS 3, Emergency News.